Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 3 of season 2 of our Southampton career mode here on FIFA 21. In today's episode, we're going to start by trying to bring in Pedraza from Villarreal. Overall 77 and take a quick look at his attributes. Overall, a pretty solid player. So hopefully, we will be able to bring him in. His valuation is £11.5 million, weekly wage of 24500 and we might have to offer between 13.5 and 19.5. So let's approach the Spanish side to sign the fullback. And I think I'm going to offer them a player. And it's going to be Bednarik. Because I was thinking about using him in the SAR deal. But we went with Gineppo instead because we currently have seven centre-backs. And we really don't need that many central defenders. His valuation is 15.5 million as well. So I think they might be happy with Bednarik and no money. And they are. A straight swap. Bednarik for Pedraza. Right. Let's negotiate a contract with the fullback. So the squad role we're going to offer Pedraza is important first team player because he is going to go straight into the starting 11. Contract length of three years. He's happy with that. And we'll disregard a release clause and he wants a wage of 27,500. A signing bonus of 260 and if he appears 10 times he'll receive £270,000. That's a lot of money for 10 appearances so I'm going to counter that remove the bonus and we'll up his wage a little bit to 29k and we'll leave the signing bonus there we go he's accepted Pedraza has officially joined us here at Southampton we needed a left back and we've got one so after making our third signing of the season, it's now time for some games. And in today's episode, we have Leicester at home and then Fulham away. And let's see how both teams have started the season. Leicester are in 12th. One win, one loss. Fulham down in 16th. One win, two losses. At the top, Nottingham Forest. Top of the table on goal difference ahead of Man U and Spurs. Wow, what a start to the season from Nottingham Forest. They beat Liverpool at Anfield 2-1 in their third game to put them top. Wow. Two games gone for us. One win, one draw. Zero goals conceded. So let's see if we can keep our good start to the season going by picking up some more points at home to Leicester. Vestergaard on the ball, four to Nathan Redmond. Now Danny Ings, right hand side is Saar, and it's a decent pass as well, and surely that's a free kick. Apparently not. It was a good tackle from the Leicester man. Now Pryor over the top to Harvey Barnes, I think this is on the right hand side. No, it's Castagna. Not a great first touch, but the Leicester man does keep possession. He finds Pryor once again. Decent pass into Kasper Dolberg, and it's 1 0 Leicester after eight minutes. Wow, what a start to the game from the away side. What a finish from the number 17. First sight of goal for either side, and it's the first goal of the game. Forster, no chance. Lethal finish. And that is Kasper Dolberg's second Premier League goal of the season. Pedraza on the ball, forward to Nathan Redmond, and it's a decent pass into the winger. Brilliant first touch from Nathan Redmond. 
Can we grab the equalising goal straight away? Nathan Redman is still going. Saar through to Danny Ings. Can we respond immediately? Not if Kurt Zuma has anything to do with it. Very good defending from the centre-back. Now indeed, to his left-hand side is Harvey Barnes. Being chased down by Romeo and he skipped past me. And look at the space. The winger is in. Is he going to pick out a teammate? Twan Zebe gets in the way of the cross. 16 minutes gone. Are Leicester going to double their lead from this corner? They play it short. Castagna into Pryor and it's a great tackle and we win possession back. Here we go. Danny Ings to his left-hand side is Nathan Redmond and surely he's not going to get caught. Can we grab the equalising goal after 18 minutes? Nathan Redmond, brilliant save. It falls to Danny Ings and it's a brilliant block. Danny Ings once again just behind him is James Ward-Prowse. And Schmeichel in the way once again. Two very good saves from the Leicester number one to keep Leicester in the lead. Wow. Corner kick, 20 minutes gone. It's going straight to Danny Ings. And he just doesn't connect with it properly and it's a goal kick. That's a good chance for someone like Danny Ings. But it's been a good response from us. Hopefully we can keep it up, keep creating chances and eventually grab the next goal in this game. Romeo on the ball, forward to Nathan Redmond. Now Danny Ings, Redmond once again. Can we find Ings? Yes we can. Danny Ings with a first time effort. And again a Leicester man in the way. And thankfully we just about keep possession. Walker Peters into Sriracho. Walker Peters once again. Now Saar through to Danny Ings. Now James Ward-Prowse. Decent save. It falls here to Nathan Redmond. Brilliant turn from the winger. Is it going to fall to Saar? Yes, it does. What a finish for his first goal in a Southampton shirt. It's all square at 1-1. Finally, we've beaten Kasper Schmeichel. Save after save after save. But thankfully, he wasn't around for that shot. <laughs> it was an open goal. What a finish. He had a Leicester man right on him as well. Incredible from Saar. Luke Short plays it forward to Harvey Barnes. Now indeed, and it's very good play from the midfielder. Barnes once again skips past Walker Peters and here he comes down this left-hand side. Is he going to whip in a cross? Plays it short into the goal scorer for Leicester. Luke Short. Oh, what a turn from the fullback across into Kasper Dolberg. What a save from the keeper. How has he kept that out? It remains 1-1, but the attack is not over. Amate, brilliant turn from Castagna. And it's 2-1 Leicester. Brilliant finish from the winger. Oh, I thought we survived. I thought we survived that attack. After Forster made an incredible save. But unfortunately, they kept the pressure up and eventually found the back of the net. And they retake the lead just before the break. Forster's position there is dreadful. That is really, really bad. Look at his positioning. I mean, I'm no goalkeeper, but... Look, he steps to his left for some reason. I don't know why he steps to his left. Look. And then leaves a massive open gap. But I need to see that save again because that was amazing. I really, really don't know how he saved it. Kasper Dolberg should have been burying that. Oh, off his arm. Bounces up into the crossbar and we get the ball away. But unfortunately, we couldn't keep it away. And after 43 minutes, it's Southampton 1, Leicester 2. Pedraza on the ball, James Ward-Prowse, now Romeo into Saar, Danny Ings, and it's a brilliant first touch from the striker. Are we going to equalise immediately? Yes, we do. It's 2-2. Seconds before the break, Danny Ings levels the game. Wow. What an opening 45 minutes. Four goals, two for Southampton, two for Leicester. An immediate response from us. Oh, at least we're going into the break all square and not 2-1 down. 
49 minutes gone. Free kick for Leicester. Dolberg puts it in. Castagna into Pryor. Bottom corner. 3-2. What a start to the second 45 from the away team. Absolutely incredible finish from the midfielder. Wow. Harvey Barnes on this left-hand side. Plays it backwards to Luke Short. Now Chowdhury in loads of space. Forward to Kasper Dolberg. Now Pryor. Are they going to make it 4-2 and kill this game? What a block from Romeu. Absolutely incredible. Wow. That really should have been 4-2 and game over. And thankfully we do keep possession there. Very, very luckily forward to Danny Ings. Now Saar. Look at the space on that right-hand side for Walker Peters. Can we find a teammate? Yes, we can. It's Lamina for 3-3. Three, three. Top corner. What a finish from the midfielder. Once again, it's all square. And there's still 15 minutes left to play. Leicester defence nowhere to be seen. Completely ripped open. Lamina had all the time in the world to put it past Kasper Michael, and thankfully he did exactly that. Southampton 3, Leicester City 3. Lamina is off the mark in the Premier League this season. Greenwood on this right hand side for Leicester. He's got support slowly arriving in the box. Is he going to whip in across? He plays it short into Pryor. Now Chowdhury. Decent run here from the midfielder. Now pry it with the shot and thankfully it's a very good save. That is near post from Forster to keep the score at 3-3. Seconds left to play in this game. Harvey Barnes off, all bright and on. Cross to the back post and Vestergaard does very well. I don't know if it was Vestergaard or Twanzebe there. I'm not quite sure but who the hell cares. They got it away. Three minutes remaining of this game. Decent delivery in. Is it a goal kick? Yes. Pressure off. And that should be game over. It's ended in a 3-3 thriller. Leicester took the lead three times in this game. But each time they did, we clawed it back. But unfortunately, we just couldn't find that extra goal to take the lead at any point during this match. Saar is off the mark, as is Danny Ng. So hopefully, many more goals to come from those two players. Full-time result here at the St. Mary Stadium. Southampton 3, Leicester 3. on the ball for Fulham it's a great tackle from Romeo. to his right hand side is Saracho now Nathan Redmond just behind him is Danny Ings first time strike and it's a very good block from the Fulham fullback six minutes gone we get the first corner of the game Saar whips it in straight to Romeo, and the Fulham man does very well to put it behind for another corner can we open the scoring very early on in this game it went straight to Danny Ings, but he didn't jump high enough. It went straight over him. Oh, my God. Another corner. A little bit too close to the goalkeeper, and he does just enough to get it away. And it falls nicely to Twanzebe into James Ward-Prowse. And the shot gets blocked, but the attack is not over. Twanzebe. Loads of space here for Romeu. Out to this right-hand side in Saracho. Now Walker-Peters. Decent first touch. A dangerous cross in. And it does get cleared half away. Romeo into James Ward-Prowse. Now Saracho with the shot. And again, it gets blocked. Falls here to Saar. We are upping the pressure for the opening goal in this game. Saracho, James Ward-Prowse, Danny Ings. Now Nathan Redmond. Straight at the goalkeeper for a simple save. Wow. That was unbelievable pressure on their goal. But unfortunately, we couldn't make it pay with the opening goal of the game. And it remains nil-nil after 16 minutes. But so far, this match has been all at Southampton. So hopefully, we can keep it up and grab the first goal of the game and put ourselves in pole position for three points. Because we won our first game against Chelsea, but the last two matches have been draws. So I'm really, really desperate to pick up three points. 
Walker Peters, now Siracho, Romeo forward to Danny Ings, now Nathan Redmond into Saar and it's a fantastic pass, oh what a save, what a save from Patricio, unbelievable, James Ward-Prowse, Nathan Redmond backwards to Pedraza, now Saar and it's a decent turn on to his right foot from the winger and the shot gets blocked and the midfielder just hoofs it away and it's a corner kick once again what's this our fourth corner of the game already and it's a decent delivery and it does get cleared away and it's going to stay away Kamara is going to pick up the loose ball wow 26 minutes gone this match has been all Southampton we've dominated but I've just got a feeling after all that domination Fulham are going to open the scoring totally against the run of play I can feel it happening Kenny on the ball for Fulham. It's a decent run from the midfielder. Kamara with the shot and thankfully Forster pulls off a very good save. That was a lethal strike. But thankfully the keeper is equal to it. Reed on this right hand side and Sriracha with a very good tackle but he can't make a second tackle. Cavalero, is he going to find a teammate? He does in the centre back. Now Reed forward to Cavalero. 1-0 Fulham after 30 minutes. I said I could feel Fulham opening the scoring totally against the run of play. And this happened. <laughs> Unbelievable. Cavalero on the ball. Forward to Kearney. And it's a lovely pass into Johansson. Kearney once again. Now Kamara. And thankfully it's a weak effort towards goal and it remains 1-0 to Fulham and not 2-0. Wow. Walker Peters forward to Saar. Now Danny Ings and it's a decent pass into the striker. Can we grab the equalising goal just before the break? Danny Ings nearly loses possession but thankfully we keep it. Romeo into James Ward-Prowse. And it's a good tackle from the Fulham man. And I think that's going to wrap up the first 45 minutes. Come on, ref. Blow that half-time whistle. Ah, oh, it's a great interception from Twanzebe. And as I intercept, the referee blows for half-time. Unbelievable. We've dominated the opening 45 minutes. But we trail at the break by a goal to nil. That's the only thing Fulham have really done in this match. Their goal. But that's the most important thing, isn't it? The scoreboard. Pedraza on the ball, good pass into Saracho. now Saar, up to Danny Ings, now Nathan Redmond, James Ward-Prowse, this is decent play, Romeo into Saracho. who's going to make me a good forward run, no one really, I was waiting for a run, oh we get taken out and it's going to be a free kick, I was just waiting for a run from either Danny Ings or Saar and it didn't happen, that's why I kept the ball for so long with Saracho. And thankfully, we get a free kick in a pretty dangerous position. Is James Ward-Prowse going to take it? Yes. 23 yards out. Can the captain draw us level? It's a good attempt, and it drops just wide. And it remains 1-0 to Fulham. I think the keeper would have saved it anyway if it was on target but still a good effort from James Ward-Prowse but after 51 minutes it remains 1-0 to the home side and you know what when the ball goes out next we will have some fresh legs come on James Ward-Prowse look 6.6 Sriracha performing a little bit better than he has this season with a match rating of 7.5 the midfield has been what's missing for us this season near enough every single game or every game actually I think the midfield has underperformed so I think we're going to make a double sub when the ball goes out next James Ward-Prowse off for Tommy Doyle and I think we're going to bring Joa Pedro on for Danny Ings Nogart charging down this right hand side for Fulham plays it backwards to a doy and that's a lovely pass into Kearney. 63 minutes gone. I've struggled in the second half so far. Not performed well whatsoever. Kamara back into Johansson. And it's a great tackle. Apparently not. It's a free kick. 
Wow. 64 minutes played. They're bringing off Kamara. 33 yards out. Are they going to double their lead? Kenny with it. Oh, what a save from Forster. It was a bullet towards goal. And thankfully, Forster is equal to it. Was it going in? Yeah. Incredible save. Corner kick for the home side. Are they going to make it 2-0 and kill this game? It's a good defensive header and it's going to fall nicely to Joa Pedro. And we've luckily kept possession and he's got fresh legs. Right, come on. We need to score with this next attack. Can we find Saw? Oh my god. It's a good tackle but that was poor and it's actually our throwing. Very, very lucky. I should have done better with that attack though. Right, Saar into Joa Pedro. Back through. Okay, it's gone into Saracho. Now Saar into Joa Pedro. Goal kick. Poor finish. Wow. Right, let's make our last sub. Nathan Redmond off for Edouard. Walker Peters on this right hand side. Saar. Now Joa Pedro forward to Edouard. And the pass is just a little bit too heavy. And the keeper is messing around with it. But he does get it away. Can we win it? Yes, we can. We're going to pick up the loose ball here with Saar. For to Joa Pedro. What a pass. Now, Idwa. And it's a great block. And it's a goal kick. Oh, my God. Just over 10 minutes left to play. And we remain behind by a goal to nil. Tommy Doyle on the ball, forward to Idwa. Now Joa Pedro, and it's a poor pass. What the hell is going on? Nothing is going my way in the second half. Noga on the ball, forward to Odoi, who is offside. Right, we have five minutes off the 90 left to try and grab an equalising goal. And at this point, I'll be very happy with a point. Right, Idwa, forward to Pedraza. And it's a decent pass into the fullback. Idwa once again with the long range effort. What an attempt. But it's dropped just wide. That was so close to being a beauty of an equalising goal. But it's a goal kick. It's our first loss of the season here away at Fulham. I think a point would have been a fair result. Or maybe we deserved the three points slightly more than Fulham. But their goal came after a dominating spell from us. Which is always a terrible time to concede a goal. And I just couldn't bounce back after they scored. Full time result here at Craven Cottage. Fulham 1, Southampton 0. So after four games we've dropped down to 12th place. Sitting on five points. At the top, Spurs are the only side with a 100% record. Four wins from four. Man City, Liverpool and Man United completing the top four. Nottingham Forest dropping down to fifth place after losing their first game of the season. At the bottom, Watford and Derby are the only clubs without a point. And look at Derby. One goal scored in four games, 11 conceded. Looks like they are going to have a very, very tough season. But it's only four games gone. There's still a very, very long way to go. Next episode, we have West Ham at home and then Nottingham Forest away. And as you can see in the Carabao Cup, we are going to Stamford Bridge to take on Chelsea. And before we end today's episode, we're going to bring Oxley chamberlain or try to bring Oxley chamberlain back to Southampton on loan because Liverpool, of course, played four league games and Oxley chamberlain has only played in one of them. And he could be what we are missing at the moment in midfield because our midfield so far this season hasn't really performed. So we're going to approach Liverpool. OK. They're not looking to loan this player out. Oh, are you kidding me? Right, what's his value? He's valued at 20.5 million. Right, let me just quickly see how much money we've got. 33. Let's move the money around a little bit because we don't need that much in the wage. Right, 35.6. Upped it by a couple mil. I don't think we're going to go over 30 million for Oxlade-Chamberlain, but we are going to try 
and sign him then. We can't bring him in on loan again. So we're going to approach Liverpool to buy Oxley chamberlain He's not playing for Liverpool in the league, so why not? Right, offer transfer fee. Let's go straight in at 20 mil. They want 26.2. Okay, let's counter that. We're at 22.2. Okay, they're staying firm on 26.2. Let's go to 23 million. Come on, come on, Jurgen. Ooh, they've gone down to 24.6. They're coming down. So let's go to 23.5. Come on, just accept it. 23.8, come on. I offered 23.5. They want an extra 300,000. Liverpool want an extra 300k. Seriously? Right, just accept it. £23.8 million for Oxley chamberlain Right, let's negotiate a contract with the midfielder. What a signing this would be because he was incredible for us last campaign. Right, squad role, squad role of crucial first team player, of course. Contract length of two years. He's 28 years old. I think he'll be happy with that, and he is. Right, disregard a release clause, and he's on £88,000 a week. I'm not sure what to offer him. Do we go for 90k and £350,000 signing bonus? That's a reasonable offer. My client's happy with that. Oxlade Chamberlain has officially rejoined Southampton. Oh, what a signing and what a way to end the episode. So next episode, we have West Ham and Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.